Hello, today we'll talk about two very popular tools in Matrix Hall. These tools are in the Gems tab. One is the Gems Guide and the other one is the Gem Offset. So let's have a look and see how we can use these tools. So I will start just with the green rail. I will add the gem on the green rail. I select the gem. I will make it smaller and place it on the right place. First, we will start with the gem guides, what the gem guides are. So the gem guides are like reference points that we have looking at the gems. You can see here in the builder we have different setups. So we have four prongs as we have now, we have double, we have four, we have six. So we have many different options. So you can place the profiles wherever you want. Also, we can show all of them if you want to have more reference. And then the next one is the girdle spacing how far we want to move these guides from the girdle. We also can activate and unactivate any of those and then just play with the length of these curves. We can move them up and down. And this is something that we added in the last update, that is the center point toggle. So we always have one looking at the gullet of the gem. Also, we have control on this one. All right, so now that we have this, I will do just an example to see what you can do. The cool thing about this tool is it's always looking at the gem, so it's totally parametric. At any time that I go and I edit the gem, they will always follow the gem. Now, if I want to make my own setting, I can go and just go to the profile. I will select this curve. I will just rotate it like this. I can use this reference, the bottom, or what I can also do is just place it in the middle. If I want to place it automatically in the middle, you can go to the profile editor with the grid snap activated. I just move it. So now I have it, as you can see, just in the middle. The only thing that I need to do now is just select the dimensions. So I want one by one. And because it's the profile placer, I can move it through the curve that I select. I will keep it here. <coughs> I will do the same that I did with this one. Instead, now doing again the profile placer, setting up the dimensions, uh, placing it in the middle. What I can do that will be faster is Control C, Control V with the profile selected. So I get another one in my dynamic history tree. So I go to edit, and now the only thing that I need to do is just select what I want the next one. So I get it exactly in the middle and with the same dimensions from the last one. Once I have this, now I can create a profile sweep between this one and this one. I can create any shape that I want. Also, because I can play with the seams here, if I just select like this, just to be sure that the seams are aligned. And now the only thing that I need to do from tools is the profile cap, this one, and the same with this one. Now, here I have different options. So the fastest one is I select these parts and I do the transform the polar array with the six. And I have this setting now that I can make any modification and I can do anything that I want with my gems. So I can go like this. And because I have it in the middle, always will follow the one in the middle. Also, if I want to change this profile, I can go to the curve to the profile placer and edit to say that I want something squarish and finishing round so I can do something like this. So you have many, many possibilities. And with this tool, I can go again with the gen guides, edit, and if I want them closer, I can get them closer. So this is a setting that you can save. If you show all the steps, you can save it in your collections here with the right button. And you can keep this and use it at any time because you will have all the parametric. All right. So this is one, one part. The other part that I want to show you or the other tool is the gem offset. So let me start from, from a new one. Again, I will go with the ring rail. From gems, I will place a gem. And on this gem now, I will create an offset. So this is also very, very handy because it's again always following the gem on the ring rail. So anything that I do, it's always following the ring rail. All right. So here you have different settings on the offset so if it's one gem let me just change the gem to a square so when you are working with a gem offset curve you can blend the corners here you can see how we are blending the corners you can move it up and down that this is what you can do with the handles 
and also the, the no spacing. Alright, so this is uh, also very convenient because from this you can make many many Jagon Ring Rail. Let me change it to a round one so I can show you some example. So once you have something like this, what I can do is trim this curve. And now that I trim this curve, what I can do is blend that with this one. Alright, and now I need to join them. So now I will be able to make one nice sweep here. So I can go just add a profile. <clears throat> Left it here because I want to show you the functionality that we have. Now we'll add another one here. Alright, so now if I want, I can go to the sweep one with this one, this and this, and I get this sweep. Alright, now what I can I do here is just go on the gem offset curve and just move it down so I adapt it to what I need. And because everything is parametric, now I can make anything that I want. So if I want it closer to the gem, I can make it closer to the gem. If I want to rise this part, I just need to go to the curve, edit this part, select this profile, and make it higher. So now we have here a nice setting. Again, if we want to place it from the front view, we always can adapt it. Let me show the ring rail so we know where we are. So still I can go to the gem offset curve. Well, something that probably I could do also because everything is parametric, go to the gem on ring rail and just drop the gem. With a blank curve, I also can play it. Alright, so this is something very nice that you can use from this software and you can always adapt it because everything is parametric. So even if I go now on the gem on green rail and I change the size of this gem, everything will adapt automatically. Alright, so these are the two tools that today I was willing to show you. I hope you like them. Thanks for watching.